Planner friends, it's Ashley. In this video, I wanted to talk about all of the different Happy Planner layouts because I know when you're first getting started with a Happy Planner, it can be really overwhelming from trying to pick a planner size to trying to pick out which layout you're gonna think is gonna work the best for you. So we're gonna be talking about the different layouts. Now, I have a separate video that's all about the different planner sizes. So from like a mini, classic, big, and so on. And in that video, I tell you which size I think is the best to start with, plus I give you some tips for when you're just getting started. And I will have that video linked down below in the description box so you can check it out. But let's go ahead and dive into the different Happy Planner layouts. And the first one I'm gonna start with is my favorite layout and it is the dashboard layout. I love this because it's not only functional, but there's plenty of room to decorate it with, you know, your stickers, your washi, if you use cardstock, like whatever you wanna decorate with, there's plenty of room for decoration in here, but it's also really, really functional. I know that the dashboard can be very intimidating to some people, so I'm gonna give you a couple of tips really quickly for how to use the dashboard layout. So when we open this up, let me go to a blank page here. All right, so here's the dashboard layout. And my first tip is over here on the right side, put day specific tasks on the day that it's due. So like, let's say you have an appointment on Monday, put that down for Monday. Let's say Thursday you have something, write that in for Thursday. And then up here in this section, you can either completely decorate this, which I've done plenty of times. Like this one, for example, is just decorated. I didn't write anything in up there, totally decorated it. So you can decorate it or you can use it for like maybe your work schedule. You can write in your dinner plans up here. You can do your works or uh, workout schedule, meetings and so on. There's so many different ways that you can use this one little box. I usually decorate it, like I said, but for a while I was actually writing in what day my YouTube videos were due because it is labeled Monday through Sunday. So definitely tons of options up here. You can put something up there or you can totally decorate it and then have day specific tasks over here or like a checklist. Like let's say Monday you have something specific, like a specific checklist you wanna do, you can write that in over here. Plus if you have a meeting or um, if you wanted to put your workouts in over here, you could totally do that. Your kids homework could go here like so many different options with this side now over here on the left side i personally like to make one of these two into some type of checklist like a general to-do list so it would be for things that are not day specific and sometimes i will use the other one maybe for a shopping list or for a gratitude list but usually up here where it says errands and to buy i will take a sticker and i cover those up and then i label the checklist for whatever i want it to be so if i have this one for a gratitude list it'll say gratitude and then I can write out gratitude. If this one's just a to-do list, it'll say to-do or get it done or whatever. And then that'll be a general to-do list. And then same thing for here. This one says calls, emails. This one says bills to pay. I don't use that for those, which you totally can. If you wanna leave this in errands and this one to buy, put your bills here, like you can totally do that. And that's why I love this planner because it already has some prompts to help guide you whenever you're planning. But if you don't wanna use that for those titles, you don't have to. You can totally put stickers here. You can cover this up with some washi tape or with stickers or whatever. You can put boxes here. So many different options and you can make these something totally different if you need something more specific to, to what you're doing. And then down here in this section, this is a whole nother section that you could add even more plans to. But for me, I typically, I usually just decorate that section down there at the bottom. And so it's a fun little way to decorate your planner like this week I took that whole entire bottom section and did Mickey's head and see even this where I took cardstock and covered up you know that whole entire list up here and this section I still have plenty of room inside of the dashboard planner to make my plans so that's why I really love this one is not only is it functional but you also have plenty of room to decorate inside of this planner I think that the dashboard layout is great for beginners because it kind of guides you already. So if you're not for sure, you know, what's a plan or where to make your list at and stuff, this kind of already has it there. It already lays it out for you. And so that's a great way to get started. When did, did I not use, oh yeah, I remember August was a rough month. I didn't, this spread was so stinking cute, but I didn't end up using it. Nor did I plan the two weeks before that. That's funny. But that's why I love the dashboard. Like I said, it's, my favorite layout because it's functional, but you also have plenty of room to decorate. And because when you're new, it kind of 
it kind of guides you on where you can put things. So that's the dashboard layout. The next layout is called a horizontal and I love this layout too. And you're going to notice that I really like the layouts that have the lines. <laughs> Those tend to be my favorite because I can't write straight y'all. So this helps me with writing straight and it actually looking neat. So one of my biggest tips that I've ever gotten for using this layout was from April over at Mom Run Craft. And she talked about taking each one of these boxes and separating it into sections. And that really helped guide my planning with the horizontal layout. Because if you just hop in it just like this, it can be a little bit overwhelming. You're not sure where to put everything. But once you start to break it down into categories, it's really helpful. So for example, let's say you have three sections. You got one here, one here, and one here. And this first section can be maybe for your schedule for the week. So maybe like your work schedule, it can be your priorities. If your kids have things going on, that can go here. Uh, maybe then your second one could be like a general to-do list. It can be your priorities list. If you have a lot of things going on, maybe like your work schedule, your kids over here, your priority list or to-do list over here. And then your third section, maybe this is dinner plans or it can be like a cleaning schedule over here gratitude it could be a general to-do list it can be your workout so there's plenty of different options for the for either of these sections really but breaking this down into three separate sections has really helped me whenever it comes to using the horizontal layout you could also use this for a journal it doesn't just have to be for a planner this is great for like if you're doing bible studies or if you want to use it for a journal uh, to kind of document your day it's great for health and fitness too. So you could do like your workout here. You can list uh, your nutrition that you had for the day here. And then over here, maybe you're tracking your water, your mindset, or like your water and your habits, something like that. And so separating this into three sections really helped me. And now there's also a section down here at the bottom, which I used to use this. I would either decorate it or um, I would do a general to-do list. So for things that I wanted to get done during the week that weren't necessarily a priority and they weren't day specific. So that's what I use that for. But you can make this dinner plans if you did um, use this for like Bible study. You could have your favorite scriptures down here. If you used it for, use this layout for like a health and fitness thing, you could list your workouts down here or like maybe um, put habit trackers and so then you can track your habits. So there's definitely plenty of options with this. I really like it though because when you break it, like I'm gonna keep saying that because that was like a big aha thing for me, but when you break it down into different sections, it really makes this layout become super functional and easy to navigate with your stickers. Like you learn where you're to place your stickers at, where you need checklists at and that kind of thing. So that is gonna be the horizontal layout. Okay, next layout is called a vertical layout. And this is the one that I think most people would recommend for beginners, but I actually don't. Because look, after three years of planning, I sometimes still struggle with this layout. Unlike the dashboard, this one doesn't really guide you. And so sometimes it feels like you're starting from scratch. Like, yes, it has the boxes. It outlines everything for you as far as like, here's Monday, here's Tuesday. Like I understand that that structure is already there, but sometimes it feels like you're starting from scratch with this layout. And that's why I think it can be a little bit overwhelming when you're first getting started, trying to figure out your own planning style, what you need to plan for, how to decorate and stuff. So I don't necessarily recommend this one for beginners, although it is a really fun layout. Usually when I use it, I tend to decorate it more than anything. So let me show you here a couple of spreads. Like this one, for example. I did a lot of decoration here and then I still, it's, it's good though because you still have room to make lists and do your priorities and stuff like that. I just think it's kind of hard to start with in the beginning. See there's another one where I used a lot of box stickers. And like I said earlier, I personally like the ones that have lines because it helps me to write straighter, which really isn't that big of a deal if you don't write straight in your planner. But this one is fun to use. Now, usually whenever I do this one, let me give you a couple of tips real quick. I will use like one of the boxes for priorities. It's typically going to be the top box. So this is where I would put like meetings, appointments, things like that would go in the top. And then one of the other two boxes would be for a checklist. So, oh, let me get out of where I have all these inserts here. Okay, so like here, this box has got one, two, three, that's gonna be my top three priorities, and then I have a checklist down here. For Tuesday, here's my one, two, three, and here's a checklist. And then it still gives you room to decorate. It's just getting started with it sometimes is what feels a little bit overwhelming 
with this layout. It's like, where, where do you place that first sticker and then where do you go from there? But once you do get a good uh, planning routine with this one, this is a really cool, fun layout to use. And I usually like to put like, um, some, well, I didn't here for the last couple of weeks. Hold on. <laughs> like over here, this is a gratitude list. I like having like a gratitude list over here on the left side. Sometimes I do a general to-do list. Sometimes I don't do a list at all. So you could totally do that one. Sometimes I just covered up with stickers. This one has a brain dump. This one has a general to-do list. So that's going to be the vertical layout. For me, it's not my favorite, but it's also not my least favorite. And it's not the layout I'm going to recommend if you're just getting started. But like I said, once you get into a routine and into your own planning style, this layout does get easier to use. Next up is going to be the lined vertical. Now this one's going to be the same as the vertical planner, except it has lines. So it's vertical because you've got Monday here, Tuesday here, Wednesday, so on and so forth. Now this one is really fun to play with. And like I said, I like being able to write straight. So I really love the lines in here. Now I actually haven't used this particular planner, but I did use my vertical layout, my regular vertical that doesn't have lines. So like I showed you earlier, it looks like this. And I actually turned it into a lined vertical. So if you can see here, I just drew the lines out. And this was really fun. I think this was one of my favorite spreads that I did. If you're not wanting to use like a ton of stickers, or if you're wanting to use more functional stickers, I think the lined vertical is the way to go. If you're not really into like super decorating your planner, but you really want it to be functional and use more functional stickers, this one's really, really helpful. And that's kind of what I did here. Like the box stickers are more functional. We've got checklists, another box sticker. I've got some stars for like priority things. And then up here, you could totally use like the top section of this for your priorities for the day. And then a to-do list. And then, you know, maybe a gratitude list, your workouts, dinner plans, whatever. But I really like this one. I think this is a really fun layout to play with. I think it's good, like I said, if you don't really want to decorate your planner a ton and you just want to use the functional stickers. So that's what I would say with this layout. And that's going to be the line vertical. Next layout is a teacher layout. And I really like this one too. Now listen, you do not have to be a teacher to use the teacher layout. I've actually used this as my main planner before. I've had it for a fitness planner. I currently use it for virtual learning for my son and I used it in nursing school for a while. So you can definitely use this planner for many different things. But the way it's normally set up is Monday through Friday because that's when teachers are in school. And I know they work weekends though, but it's normally set up Monday through Friday. Now what I like to do is take like a box sticker, for example, and I will cover up where it says Monday through Friday and I will categorize each one of these. So this one's like a get it done list. This one was for reading, spelling, language, arts. This one was for math, science, and social studies. And then I had other down here at the bottom, but I used to use this for like a workout of the day. It was like breakfast, lunch, dinner, and then did I do water or something like that? In nursing school, I used it for separate classes that I had. Uh, you could definitely use this as a regular planner. So have like your priorities or your appointments and meetings up here and then a priority list, a to-do list. You could put a gratitude list down here at the bottom, maybe a cleaning schedule here. So there's definitely plenty of options, but I like to cover this side up. This is Monday through Friday and I categorize each one of these and then I take and I put like the days of the week up here and that will give you Saturday and Sunday. So if you're needing Saturday and Sunday and you want to use this planner, that's how you do it is you just redate it to where you have the weekends up top. If you want a planner that is super functional and just be able to use a few stickers here and there, this is a great planner for that. Now, if you need the weekends, obviously the weekends are here. Currently I'm using this one for virtual learning for my son so he doesn't have schoolwork on the weekends, but we usually like read. Sometimes we, well, we used to try to take AR tests, but they won't let you take them on the weekends. But anyways, I never really actually used it for that, but I did like being able to cover up over here and redate this and make this work for me. But you could definitely still use just a few stickers here and there to decorate it, make it fun, but it is super functional. So if that's what you're looking for, the teacher layout is a great one for you. Can a newbie use the teacher layout? 100%. Actually, I think this layout is really, really simple to use. You just cover it up, make your categories, and then you fill in 
um, for those categories each day of the week. So that's gonna be the teacher layout. Next up is the monthly layout. And this one is a really interesting layout. So let me go to a month I haven't used. I don't think I used this one, right? No, okay. So um, here you have your regular monthly section just like every planner has. And then when we flip it over, this, <clears throat> excuse me, this is like a monthly overview. So this is where you can set your goals, you can have your priorities, you can have a general checklist for the month, you can have your habit trackers over here on this side, there's a gratitude section, and then there's also a couple of dot grid sections, so you can make these whatever you want. And then you have checklists for each day of the week, which is probably my favorite part about this layout. I really do like this section of it. And there is enough of these for the entire month. But I really do think it's kind of hard to decorate these pages. I've seen some people do it and they're amazing at it. I was never very good at it. So if you're looking for a planner that is really functional with very minimal stickers, this would be a great planner for you. You can definitely decorate like your monthly spread here. And then here you can add a few stickers. You could always change this to where it doesn't say goals. You could always change this to something else. Cover up the habit trackers if you didn't want it. Cover up gratitude. Like you can totally rework this and make it work for you. But if you want to have a section, you know, for your goals, your priorities, your habits for the month, but also have your daily checklist, this is definitely a great planner for you. So that is going to be the monthly layout. All right, now the Happy Planner has a fitness and a wellness layout. Let me get the fitness one here. Come here. There we go. <laughs> so we have a fitness and a wellness layout. So the fitness one, let's look at it first real quick. We open this up. And the way this one works is you have today, which would be the section here. You have focus. You can put your food log here and then down here it says exercise and some of these may have a water tracker over here on the left side so the fitness one is is pretty much for fitness and then the wellness one the wellness one when we look at it this top section is for your intention for the day you have your nourishment so you can still track your food you have movement here so you can track water and then down here at the bottom you have some journaling prompts so you can journal for the day the big difference between the wellness and the fitness is going to be the journaling prompts at the bottom and you know the two layouts are, are meant for fitness and wellness but you can totally take stickers you can cover these up and make each one of these sections into your want into what you want them to be especially if you love the colors and you love the blocks of these that would totally work you could take washi tape across this and then make this whatever or you could even leave it as your journaling section at the bottom of your day that was totally optional as well but if you're wanting to get healthier in 2021 definitely pick up one of these layouts and right now I think the wellness one is my favorite because of the prompts at the bottom. Because I'm going to tell you, getting fit and being healthy is just as much mindset as it is anything else. It's just as much your mindset than it is your exercise and how well you're eating and stuff. So like it all goes together and I really love that this one focuses on that. So you could put like reflecting on and you could always journal about, you know, maybe what you could do better tomorrow. Or you can journal about every single little win that you had for the day, which is awesome. And that's very motivating. So for me personally, I really like the wellness layout because of these prompts. Because like I said, mindset is very important whenever you're trying to get healthy and fit. But that's going to be the wellness and the fitness layouts. Okay, last but not least, there is the color block layout. Now this one was created for students in mind, but you do not have to be a student to use this layout. You could definitely use this if you're not one. It has alternating color blocks which is why it's called the color block and then the weekends are going to be a solid these ones are solid white but i think there has been some before that's been a solid color but i'll be honest this is one of my least favorite layouts um actually i didn't even use this when i was a student like in nursing school i'm just not a fan of this layout for me it has too much color happening but if i was to use it i would block schedule my day with it and i actually have a video up on my youtube channel all about block scheduling and I even show you how I would do it in this planner specifically and I will link that down below in the description box if you want to check it out but other than that I really don't have tips for this layout because I never used it so I don't want to pretend like I know exactly how to use this layout or what's the best way to do it because I never used it but if I was to use it I would just use it for block scheduling my day but that's going to be the color block layout now the happy planner also has a memory keeper 
they have a recipe planner they have a budget planner I actually don't have a budget planner I would show you one and then for memory keeping I have a video up on how to get started with memory keeping inside of a happy planner and that will be linked down below in the description box as well if you want to check that one out but those are going to be the different layouts now listen if you've watched it this far comment and let me know which layout you've been wanting to try but you haven't yet like you've been a little hesitant you're not sure if it's going to work for you comment and let me know and then also let me know which layout is your favorite and i really hope that this video was helpful to you i hope it helps give you some direction on maybe which layout would work the best for you i hope you have an incredible day and i will see you in the next video